I just recorded that whole intro on slow-mo and had to watch it back and it was very painful. I am going to do my makeup for the day. It's just my everyday makeup and I'm going to answer a few of your questions that I got from you last week on Instagram. I've already done my brows. Um, we'll start with how I became a makeup artist. A lot of people ask that. I'm going to use the glow screen from Supergoop as my base. I basically became like really obsessed with makeup when I was a teenager. That's what I wanted to do. I left school. I was 18. Did a course, but to be honest, it was kind of like pointless. Uh, I had already taught myself so much that by the time I got to the course, I was like kind of a bit boring for me because I already knew everything. And well, okay, I don't wanna say I knew everything, but like it wasn't like groundbreaking stuff. My course was in like fashion hair and makeup or something. We didn't really do much hair. Which I didn't mind because I don't really, I'm not too bothered about hair. Um, but yeah, because it was like a creative course, it's like you can't really teach someone to be creative. Like you either kind of have it or you don't. I moved to England and started to work on a retail counter for a makeup brand. I worked for them for like six years. Basically, yeah, just like learned so much. And it was probably like the best thing I could have done because you learn to work with like so many different kinds of people, um, skin types, tones, concerns. You learn to work on the spot. Uh, you think on your feet in like fast paced environment, which is like exactly what the makeup industry is. Um, the creative industry is. And you just like kind of start to get like that like sixth sense of that like initiative, uh, which is really, really valuable for your career. It, was, it wasn't my dream to be in retail um, for a brand, but it was really good. But I was always kind of doing my own like shoots and social media stuff on the side. And then eventually I started to like make money from it and um, like a little bit of money, like not a lot. <laughs> um, and I was like, I'm gonna leave. Like if I don't do this now, when will I ever do it? Um, so I just took like a leap of faith and left my retail job. And then, yeah, did like social stuff and uh, pro stuff like full time. And here I am. I was gonna do like my everyday makeup, but I think I'm gonna do something like a bit more um, elevated now, like an elevated version of my everyday makeup. This is the KVD Tattoo Pencil Liner in Trooper Black. Obsessed. It's so black, it lasts all day for me. It's crazy. So a few people also asked like, when did I find my passion for makeup? I don't know if I just said it, but yeah, when I was like 14, um, I really got into like YouTube makeup artists. Um, so I started to like become really interested in that as like a profession and also like as a beauty enthusiast. Um, and then for Christmas, I got like a few books about makeup and I just basically read them like cover to cover and that was it really I was just like obsessed with makeup and becoming a makeup artist um kind of all like tied together I use this oh, <laughs> uh, H Norvina collection palette I'm gonna use the white here on the inner corner so, so white. Put on the brow bone. A little bit more than like I had intended. So I'm just gonna tone it down a wee bit. I got a lot of questions about my um, style inspiration. Uh, I've always been really inspired by uh, looks from like the runway. Um, fashion editorials. I really like um, like the weirdness of them or the unconventionality of them. It really exciting and really like a breath of fresh air. I guess it's fun, you know, to see like a lot of trends quickly begin and end in the industry, whether it's like brows or lips or whatever, but um, 
the, those conventional trends I do personally find boring and I hate saying that because I don't want it to seem like I'm like oh I'm so different I'm not like the other girls I just really like weird makeup and I really like um yeah, I just really like statement looks I really like when looks like say something or like tell a story so yeah on the on the point of telling a story like I'm really inspired by um, creating a look that makes you like feel something or think of something tells a story embodies like a character I think it's so fun and I try to do that like every time I do a creative look. Music inspires me as well um, and like different art styles I find are like really fun to incorporate into different looks or different like concepts. So I guess I'm just like inspired by the world around me. <laughs> um, joking but actually being serious as well. I mean we're all inspired by the world around us but um, for creative makeup specifically I am not inspired to look beautiful I'm inspired to create something and to tell a story a little bit of this shimmery lilac and I'm gonna blend it into the white and someone asked me my favorite Harry Styles song it kind of depends on my mood I'm sure you can relate to that I love fine line if I'm in like a stable position to listen to it i will listen to it on repeat i think keep driving and late night talking were like my second and third most played songs um how do you pronounce your name it's pronounced Aoife. it's irish it's not english um how do you keep the black in your waterline i just don't blink to be honest like i since i've discovered this kvd liner i cannot T stop talking about it like it stays in my waterline like crazy like crazy and i have tried so many long wear waterliners um i do obviously i have to top it up though like when you blink or if your eyes get watery like in the wind or something it's obviously gonna wear it down um so i always keep it in my bag but i only ever top it up like once a day maybe even if that sometimes i don't at all and yeah, also I never put like oily like moisturizers or eye creams on my eyes when I do my makeup. I only use them at nighttime. How did you get to work with models and brands instead of just working at a salon, like retail counter? Um, social media. Social media is the best way. Um, post your work, follow models, follow photographers, reach out to photographers, reach out to models, ask if you, you know, want to put a quick shoot together. At any given time, there will always be people who are in the same spot as you and they want to gain experience, gain some gain some credit, gain some work and something to put out there on social media. It is honestly, it is basically impossible to kind of advance today without social media. You, If you wanted to kind of be off social media, um, I would go to like, a creative agency that look after like photographers and models and makeup artists and hairstylists and um, they will help get you work and help you make connections use your initiative someone asked me if i can show my makeup kit um if you wanted i could do a video on like my makeup desk with the makeup that i use for like to create looks on myself and then i can also show you my kit which is right here beside me because it, it, it would take too long to do it um in here so let me know someone asked me when did you start using makeup slash how did it evolve to being a makeup influencer i have kind of touched on how i started using makeup so i was like buying cheap makeup from like boots and stuff and kind of playing with that but um i want to kind of talk about the makeup influencer thing i know that a lot of people will disagree with me but i don't consider myself a makeup influencer i know i'm online i know i do makeup i know i have a following so naturally i do have an influence but i actually kind of make it my mission to not like influence people in the typical sense of being an influencer to get people to buy things 
Yes, I do ads. I obviously have to make money. And um, beauty is a very lucrative business. Naturally, by being in beauty, you're gonna sell stuff. Um, but I don't like to set out to like influence people to buy things. Um, I really just want to be uh, known for like my work and my creativity. And I always try to like work with brands that are more um, are more concerned about hiring me for my creativity as opposed to my ability to sell stuff. I know a lot of people might disagree with that, but like I'm literally just a girl with a makeup Instagram. That's really how I see myself. I'm just having fun with makeup. And there's nothing wrong with being an influencer. I'm not saying that there is. It's just not how I see myself. I kind of just see myself as someone who has adapted to the world around me as a makeup enthusiast, a makeup artist. Um, and and I'm online naturally you will grow a following but I didn't intend to become an influencer I just intended to share my work and my work be appreciated and I think I've got there in a sense I hope that makes sense who <laughs> get on with doing my makeup because I actually need to like do shit yeah, similarly, how, how did you start posting online? Um, I just did it, like, you just have to post. Um, that is the only way. Don't worry about, like, you're having, like, the best camera or the best lights or whatever. Just, just, like, create your look. Have some fun. Set aside some time. Take some pictures and post them online. That's it. Same with TikTok videos. If you wanna do your makeup nice one day, you've got some time, sit down, record a video. Doesn't matter if it's bad or you don't know how to edit. The more you do it, the easier it'll become and the more it will just come naturally to you. You just have to do it. Doesn't matter if anyone sees it or nobody sees it or everyone sees it. And it's not that scary. Once you do it once, you'll be fine. I'm obsessed with this blush. It looks so like gross but it's so nice celebrity that i would love to do makeup for is taylor russell i think she would look really good in like my kind of style of makeup and i mean she's like stunning anyway but um i just love her look i love her hair like i just love everything about her and i think she could carry off like a really creative look anya taylor joy i think that's how you say her name um love her love her face i'm gonna do some highlighter because i never do i'm gonna mix these two liners together smashbox one it's actually an eyeliner but i really like it on the lips my favorite movies all-time favorite movie is probably like little women the new one i also love call me by your name I'm actively not a Timothy Chalamet stan anymore, but I still love those movies. I love the Downton Abbey movies. One thing about me, I am obsessed with Downton Abbey. I love period dramas in general. I love like Pride and Prejudice and uh, oh, you know, I also love Lady Chatterley's Lover. If you've ever seen that movie, you know. I try to go to the cinema like once a week. I also love uh, Ratatouille. That movie is so good. Lip liner is so nice. I think I'm gonna do a nude lip today because I have like a busy day. Uh, this is just low maintenance. This is the Prada lipstick. Can't remember the shade. All right, in the box. It's so nice. Okay, because I sectioned my friend. This is the kind of friend I'm going to have today. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little q and I know they were like mostly all about makeup, but that's kind of the only kind of question I got. But yeah, this is my look.
and I think it's quite cute. I have like a million, million things to do today, so I'm going to go and do them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.